Today I'm going to show you a fun and easy approach to playing the jazz samba. This is something that will make you sound like the pros and help you to be more interactive in an improvisational setting. This is a concept you hear the pros doing and expanding on when they play. And I've included links in the description to hear examples of this in action. Players like Dave Weckl, Jeff Hamilton, and Erto. Now to begin with, this is not what you'd call an authentic samba, but this is more a jazz samba. It's what you hear jazz musicians playing. It's the kind of approach you would take playing in a jazz combo or in a big band. With that being said, it's really important to learn the authentic patterns from the players who are from those regions themselves. That way you can learn how they've grown into these more improvisational jazz concepts. Now to give credit where credit is due, this is something I learned from Jeff Hamilton. Now he taught this because he would listen to these Latin drummers who influenced him and he noticed something that they had in common, certain ways that they were approaching rhythms and playing. And so he kind of figured out this concept of playing and he taught it to his students. I then took it and expanded upon it and I teach it to my students. Now to begin with, this builds off the very basic jazz samba pattern where the feet are playing this rhythm. And the cymbal would be doing this. Okay, if you have not yet mastered that, go and work on that so that this next level concept would be easier for you to achieve. So the basic concept is you have that samba foot pattern going and then the hands play unison rhythms on snare drum and cymbal. What you have is you alternate measures of on the beat and off the beat. First measure is on the beat, next measure is off the beat, on the beat, off the beat. And you start with just playing four notes. Okay, add that to the foot pattern. Okay, not too complicated. Sped up, it sounds like this. Okay, so then that starts to sound kind of cool. The next step then is to add accents so that you can punctuate the rhythms so you can give it a little bit more energy. So the accents are every other one. Sped up, it sounds like this. Okay, so right away, it's feeling really good. It's sounding really good. The next step then is to start adding connector rhythms so that you can connect these notes to each other to give it a more linear feel moving forward, making it more smooth. Sped up, you get something like this. So then building off those three concepts, uh, you have these other variations. One variation would be just playing three notes on, three notes off, like this. Speed that up, add some accents, and include the connector notes. You have something like this. Very similar, but slightly different. The next variation is something that you'll hear a lot of rhythm section players, like from piano players, guitar players, will often play this rhythm. So it's very common in Latin music. It's two on, four off, two on.
Okay, add the other elements, speed it up, you have this. Put all that together and you have a tremendous resource of options for rhythmic variations and interactivity when you're playing in an improvisational setting. Be sure to click the links below to see examples of this concept in action. Also, there are two video links to some excellent lessons on how to play authentic jazz samba patterns. Take these concepts, practice them, come up with your own rhythms. Most importantly, listen, 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 listen to the pros. Go practice and have fun.